We are here. We are here. We are here. What is amazing day? Okay, everyone. This is Cam Jones, FXL Analysis, and we are marking up L E O USD. Let's take a look at what's going on in the market. We are on the monthly time frame. Price action last candle of the market is a bullish inverted hammer. We can see market price is pushing up. market actually just broke price action just broke the previous one two three four five six seven eight nine candles now we could be waiting for that breakout for that close out we're waiting for that close out the market could be pushing up higher unless we get unless we receive some type of resistance at this high that's gonna create some consolidation maybe for the market to push up or push down well, let's identify what we what we see as we go down further but before we do, let's take a look at price action highs of that market. We're going up to that wick price action low, going down towards that bottom of that bearish and bullish candles. Price action midpoint. Right now, we're going to gauge it with the 11th and last wick highest candle. Now, we're going to walk down the time frame and see what we see. Price action candle. <clears throat> Last candle in the market is a inverted bullish candle. Bullish, inverted bullish hammer. So we can clearly see market broke. So what we gotta find out, we gotta find where the market is coming from. So we're looking for a pattern. So there's a pattern right here that's in front of us. So it's drawn out, and then we're also gonna see how many pushes that we receive to that top. And there's maybe another one here. So let's try our best to figure out what's going on in that market. Also, this market did do a spike up. So let's draw it out. First leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg, retest. Market pushed up once, retest. Market pushed up twice, retest. Market pushed up a third time, retest. Market pushed up four. That's overall four pushes to that top of that high of, of a trend. That's exhaustion. So market price should be running into some areas of consolidation we shouldn't be receiving any more pushes up further as we walk down this time frame just because we got four pushes down to that bottom also price it did do the break of that midpoint and we are also looking for that retest so we have two identifications that that market will be headed back maybe if they don't head back all the way to that midpoint it can head to second level high so basically you gauge in the price action highs in the midpoint and right at that middle of that midpoint. So it could be a little lower, but I would tag is the second last candle. So market is breaking inside the market. So let's draw it out again. Market price with the second last candle has broke the midpoint. This price action actually just broke the previous candle and also engulfed the previous second last candle showing it's creating levels up. So we're looking for some type of resistance in the market as we head down the time frame. Head down to the daily time frame. Let's see what we see. Price action candle. Bullish inverted hammer. <clears throat> Price action candle did not close. It's still active. Price action candle is above the previous candle. Okay, showing that that market still have a chance to push up further. That price action is not above the second to last candle wick. The market is ranging in this market. And if you look at the price, if you think about price action, this being the highs and lows, you put a line right here. This the mid, so price action at a midpoint. So it's some type of retest, and we should identify a retest as we walk down further. But what the market may be doing is ranging to create that wedge pattern in here before it breaks up to the upside or down. So price action can be in a going in an area of consolidation. We can identify as we walk go down further. You may want to draw also a second price action um, SR line near that high. You can also change the color. So we're looking for the market to break and retest. We may adjust as we walk down further. Headed down to the four hour time frame. Okay, looks good. Now we can clearly see. Now when I added that SR line, at the second level highs, we can, we can see that the market broke. Now it's coming back to retest. 
market did reach that high of that highest high of the SR line we created, came back down for a retest, pushed back up about two or three times in this area, and then we got a retest candle and the market dropped down. Third to last candle is an engulfing pattern, which engulfed the fourth to last candle, which is pushing that market down, but we don't know how far that market's gonna go down. Price action candle <clears throat> is a solid candle, bearish. Okay, got a little wick to the got a, has a little wick to the bottom. Could be a um, hammer, but we can see price action body is below the second to last candle. But price action wick is not below the previous wick, so that mark is could be doing a wedge pattern in there. So we're gonna see what the mark what's going on in that area as we walk down. So drawing something out for you guys, just think about what the mark is doing. Could be breaking. That could be just a full retest. May not drop down to second level highs. And the market would shoot up. So Mark is hanging out of area uh, support on that SR line. As we can clearly, clearly see, price action spiked once, spiked twice, spiked three times. So it's hanging out that low. Mark is getting smaller. So we're going to see if we identify a doji eventually coming up. So we can clearly see markets on that second level highs above it. Think about this being an SR line, a, excuse me, a zone, and markets respecting this area may turn back up, may push down, or may continue to go sideways. Headed down to the one hour. Still see that. So markets is getting real tight in this area. Just one, two, three, four, four to five, three to four. Last candles in the market is just working its way sideways, all dojis in that market. We're looking for an engulfing pattern to engulf the price action candle that can, that can push that market up. Markets is still in that wedge pattern on the 45 minute price action, like a hammer, bearish hammer, small candle. So we got some structure forming on the 30 minutes, so let's draw it out. So if this market's going to push up, we can clearly see this market may do this first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg retest, and the market can push up from here. But market has to break this area for the for the full breakout for another retest. May do it. The market push up. Or oh, we may not identify on that, that break and retest on this time frame. It's always happened. <clears throat> now if that market's gonna push down from this area for that downtrend, it'll be the first leg, second leg, third leg, the market push down fourth leg. So all we're looking for is a price candle to engulf the third to last candle close out and to push that market down. May have to clear a few weeks on this side as well as it being the uh, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, seventh to last candle, sixth, fifth to last candle close out below those to push that market down. So we may be looking for a break and retest when this market come to a certain area if that market is going to work its way for a downtrend. But we can clearly see markets consolidating on that 30 minute time frame. <clears throat> 30 minutes, 15 minutes reading the same. Market spiked that low a few times. Still hanging out that area of support. More like a midpoint as we walk down. Price action, highs, price action lows in that middle. But we're waiting for that engulfing pattern to identify itself so we can see that market direction. Fit five minute time frame. All dojis, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A little few hammers in there, but mainly all dojis in that market. Indecisive. Got to wait for an engulfing pattern. It's going to push that up. Anything that's going to close out on this structure on a five minute has to close out above the one, two, three, fourth, the last candle doji, especially that long wick up to that high of that resistance, as we can see here. Five minute, three minute, all identifying the same thing. Mark is just in that area of consolidation, as we can see, with one spike up, came back down. Okay, guys, very important information. Please study breakout retest strategy. Also, please study Forex pattern cheat sheet. Click on images for both. Okay, guys, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis. Thank you for watching and thank you for your attention. L E O U S D.